Hello and welcome to this video. Now, as you might know, Shoutcast 2 has just been launched, but I want to grill you, James, about what the difference is between Shoutcast 2 and Shoutcast 1, how you've improved upon it and what impact it will have on us as consumers. Okay, so um, as a radio station owner, there's two main key benefits of the Shoutcast 2 system over the Shoutcast 1 system. Right. Firstly, huge improvements on the directory listing. Now, the shoutcast.com directory is, you know, as you know, a big list of about 40 or 50,000 radio stations who use the service. And the cool thing about this is there are loads and loads of other third-party devices and apps that pull on this data. So, for example, if I download an app, it might be called something completely different, like TuneIn Radio, for example, on the yeah. iPhone. Mm -hmm. Most of those stations will have actually been pulled out of the shoutcast.com directory. So if you're uh -huh. listed on there, you have a great opportunity to get your station in front of you know, potential listeners, which is never a bad thing. Very wide potential market. Exactly. Um, the other thing is we can have multiple streams running off a single server now, which is really great. So if you've got a station and you want to attract mobile listeners, you might have a slightly lower quality stream so people can listen to you on the move, on the go on their 3G signal. Always a good idea. Before you had to have that running off two different servers, you can now have them on a single server, which is really, really useful. Yeah. And as far as what we've been internally doing, we've redeveloped from the ground up our back-end control panel called Wave Panel. Yes. Which has got loads of new features for customers, including our new live real-time dashboard, which literally allows you to monitor your listeners as, as, they, as they start tuning in, as they stop listening. You can view exactly how many people are listening. Oh, wow. Just pinpoint them on a map, mm -hmm. see exactly where they are in the country or the world. And also you can see exactly how they're listening. So maybe you've got, you know, a dozen listeners on iPhone, we will be able to tell exactly how many listeners you have at any time listening on an iPhone, for example. So you can tailor every, all of your output to who's listening and when they're listening and where they're listening from. Precisely, yeah. Um, and, you know, generally we've got a nice, cleaner user interface. The old system was about, you know, five years old. We've been bringing it up to date, refreshing the look and feel of it and really giving our customers a better experience and a better mm. way to use shoutcast. I suppose in technology terms, five years is quite a long time. It really Ancient is, Ancient yeah. even. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm, I'm really excited that we've, uh, we're on the forefront of kind of launching into shoutcast too. Um, and it, we, we give people an option to get on board, you know, as soon as possible. Oh, so is the changeover going to be quite easy from shoutcast one to two? Yeah. Well, what we're doing, uh, Judith, is we're giving people the option to migrate to start off with. So it won't be compulsory. It'll be, you know, hey, guys, you can move over today if you want, or you can move over next week for those sort of people who want to be on the cutting edge of technology and want the latest thing. Or for people who don't like change as much, we're not going to make it, you know, uh, an important thing to move to start off with. They can stay how they are. And then once we're comfortable that the system is 100% stable and suitable for everyone, then we'll be moving everyone else over in two oh, or three right. months' time. I suppose it'll give everyone else sort of a bit of time to get over the learning curve as well. Exactly, yeah. Mm. And also it will allow us to iron out, I mean, any minor bugs. You know, there's not going to be any major problems we're going to have. But there may be little minor things that we yeah. have to work on and fix. Niggles and glitches. Exactly. Oh, sounds very interesting. Well, if you would like to have a preview of the Shoutcast 2, then you can click on the link on the screen now.